Oh no, the computer's on fire. It's okay, it's only a Mac. Hey guys, this uh, lesson is about protecting your hardware. Okay, because obviously we know about looking after our computers digitally and storing stuff and password protecting stuff, and that's great. But what about the actual computer itself? Here are a few things that you need to be aware of that you can use to protect your hardware. Here is one from a company called Thales or Tails. I'm actually not sure how to pronounce their name. This is called an HSM. I need to see HSM, a hardware security module. Very, very cool. It looks like a little device of some kind that you just connect to your computer. Now, this is more for high level computers like servers and stuff like that, but you can use it if you have a really, really super duper machine. You can connect this to your machine. And what happens is the moment your machine gets tampered with physically like somebody plugs something in or somebody tries to switch it off or somebody tries to access it even through a firewall digitally as well you can actually uh, encrypt your entire drive like that so you can actually encrypt your computer you encrypt your computer's drive instantly making the whole drive inaccessible to an intruder here we have a basic steel cable, also referred to as a Kensington lock, and these are quite common and very popular. It's just more of a deterrent, really. It does make it difficult to get a computer out of the way because it is quite a strong chain unless they have some serious cutters to get into it. Here is a lovely uh, application uh, or device, sorry, called a gatekeeper. This is an area or a location aware key. What this does, it comes in two parts. There's a special key that plugs into your computer, okay, like into a USB port, for example, and the other part of the key sits on your body. And when you get up and you walk away and you go away a certain amount of uh, meters or whatever from your computer, you can decide how far, the computer automatically locks itself because you are away. So the moment you get up and walk away from your table, it locks the computer so that you don't have to worry about security and locking your machine in case someone else is trying to get access to your machine. So that's quite a nice tool. And then, of course, the good old lock it in a safe or a specially designed computer cage, heavily bolted to the floor. It's got enough ventilation in for the hot air to escape, but you can chain that thing down, weld it to the ground if you want to, lock it up with padlocks, etc. And these are also for companies where they have big machines that they don't need to um, move around or have access to physically, and they can just lock them in a nice safe place or even in a safe, actually. So... Now that we know about the hardware, don't forget just to recap a couple of things that you should know as well using strong passwords. Let's, what the, what's this guy? Okay, strong, whoa. Disk encryption, make sure that you use disk encryption like BitLocker is built into Windows 10 and that also makes things um, a lot more secure and encrypted. What the heck? And then of course, location services. Location services, that means your computer can be found if it is missing, if it's got like a, a GPS tracker built into the system as well. Okay, like that. That was a good click, wasn't it? Here we go. There's a. I'm not going to click.